Hello, I'm John Manzella, and this is the Manzella Report. The key to U.S. economic growth and job creation lies in our ability to innovate new products and services and deliver them to the world's nearly 8 billion consumers. This requires tax policies that incentivize entrepreneurs to take risks and pro-globalization legislation that secures access to foreign markets. Now, let me explain. Reasonable tax rates that allow entrepreneurs to keep most of their winnings is a primary driver in the creation of new companies, the hiring of new employees, and the innovation of new products. And just as importantly, secure access to the world's nearly 8 billion consumers through free trade agreements gives our producers economies of scale, much more so than just selling to America's 333 million consumers. These factors, I might add, have been primarily responsible for our high standard of living and the great success of our free market capitalist system. But globalization is like fire. It can cook your food, keep you warm, or burn your house down. It has tremendously benefited the United States, but it has not impacted all of us equally. Globalization, which is evolving and not dying, has greatly benefited higher skilled workers engaged in lifelong learning and companies that are highly productive or produce goods and services rich in intellectual property. However, it has presented new challenges for employees with limited skills and for less competitive firms. And this brings me to another important point. With regard to reasonable tax rates necessary to incentivize entrepreneurs to take risks, we also need to generate enough tax revenue to subsidize healthcare, education, and other areas vital to rebuilding our middle class, which, by the way, has been eroding since the 1970s. If the middle class continues to erode and a greater number of Americans feel that the system doesn't work for them anymore, they're very likely to vote for dangerous populists on the far left or right, who I believe will threaten capitalism in the long run. So my final point is this. We need to have a balanced perspective to ensure that we don't overtax entrepreneurs and kill the goose that lays the golden eggs. But on the other hand, we need to generate enough tax revenue to subsidize programs that will strengthen the middle class and in doing so, strengthen American capitalism. For more on this and other topics, visit themanzellareport.com or johnmanzella.com. Thank you.